Niagara Falls, an esteemed natural wonder, is renowned globally and adored by millions of individuals who visit annually. Its splendor and might are a sight to behold, but only a select few witness the transformation into an icy, otherworldly spectacle that occurs during the winter season. For centuries, the freezing of Niagara Falls has captured the human imagination, with the earliest recorded instance dating back to the winter of 1848 when the fall solidified due to an extreme cold snap. Nevertheless, it was not until the late 19th and early 20th centuries that the frozen fall's unique beauty was captured in photographic form. During this period, photography was still in its nascent stages, and the cumbersome equipment posed challenges to maneuvering. Notwithstanding these challenges, photographers were drawn to the one-of-a-kind aesthetic of the frozen falls and persevered in capturing it on film. George Barker, a renowned photographer, captured magnificent images of the frozen Niagara Falls from multiple angles back in 1911. The photos showcased the majestic falls in their winter state, with colossal icicles hanging off the cliffs and massive ice chunks floating in the Niagara River. These awe-inspiring photographs quickly became a popular souvenir among tourists visiting Niagara Falls, leaving them awestruck and amazed by the rare and stunning winter view of the falls. However, the frozen beauty of Niagara Falls presents a significant challenge for locals and workers in the area. The ice and snow create hazardous conditions, making it difficult to navigate the roads and walkways, posing a threat to their safety and well-being. The sole documented instance of the river and falls freezing was due to an ice blockage on the 29th of March 1848. For nearly 40 hours, the falls were devoid of any water flow, or at most, a meager trickle. This resulted in water wheels coming to a standstill and mills and factories shutting down due to the lack of power. The American Falls were completely frozen in the year 1912, whereas the other two falls continued to flow. While the falls typically freeze over every winter, the river and falls do not freeze entirely. Some noteworthy years for partial freezing of the falls include 1885, 1902, 1906, 1911, 1932, 1936, 2014, 2017, and 2019. In certain years, a so-called ice bridge would form at the base of the falls, which people used to cross the river before bridges were built. During some winters, the ice sheet was as thick as 40 to 100 feet but such thickness has not occurred since 1954. Reports suggest that the ice bridge in 1841 was at least 100 feet in thickness. On the 12th of February 1912, the ice bridge, which had formed on the 15th of January, began to break up while people were still on it. Although many managed to escape, the event, which later came to be known as the ice bridge tragedy, resulted in the death of three people. Niagara Falls is a spectacular natural wonder created by the Niagara River, which channels water from Lake Erie into Lake Ontario. This waterfall boasts the highest flow rate of any waterfall in North America with a vertical drop greater than 50 meters, 160 feet. During peak daytime hours, an astounding 168,000 cubic meters, 5.9 million cubic feet, of water cascades over the crest every minute making the Horseshoe Falls the mightiest waterfall in North America when measured by flow rate. Aside from its stunning beauty, Niagara Falls is a vital source of hydroelectric power, serving both recreational and commercial purposes. However, achieving a balance between these various uses has proven to be a difficult challenge for the guardians of the falls since the 19th century. Located 27 kilometers, 17 miles, northwest of Buffalo, New York, and 69 kilometers, 43 miles, southeast of Toronto, Niagara Falls sits between the twin cities of Niagara Falls, Ontario, and Niagara Falls, New York. It was formed as a result of glaciers retreating at the end of the Wisconsin glaciation period, the last ice age. The water from the newly formed Great Lakes created a path over and through the Niagara Escarpment on its way to the Atlantic Ocean. Erosion control measures have always been of great significance in safeguarding the environment. To redirect the most damaging currents, underwater weirs have been employed, 
and the apex of the falls has been reinforced. In the month of June in the year 1969, the Niagara River was entirely diverted from the American Falls for a number of months by constructing a temporary rock and earth dam, which is conspicuously discernible in the photograph located to the right. Within this interval, two corpses were retrieved from underneath the falls. Among them was the remains of an individual who was seen jumping over the falls, while the body of a woman was discovered subsequent to the drying of the falls. With Horseshoe Falls assimilating the additional flow, the United States Army Corps of Engineers carefully scrutinized the riverbed and applied mechanical bolts to strengthen any flaws they discovered. Such flaws, if left untreated, would have accelerated the recession of the American Falls.